Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. What? what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> Make way, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Go ahead. Fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Uh, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. Do you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be eaten. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julia. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water from me ever again! I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't going to tell. Oh, <laughs> 
Hans? Hans, you there? Hans? Water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? And what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this... Uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you, in case he's already drunk some of the water. I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one.
Hans. Hans? Hans? Hans! Are, are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Ah, shit. That may have been poison, Hans. One sip? Then I spat the shit right out. Must have mixed up the bottles again. Whatever. Wait, whatever? Are you usually this calm about being poisoned? Who gives a shit? Not my wife, I bet. Don't think she loves me anymore. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> my wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do.
You looking for work by any chance? Do you want to dig? Found some powdered milk in the old city. 
Uh, what's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster? Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. The wind is blowing from the east. That's a bad omen. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can, and now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password, Sayonara, so he knows I sent you. Got it. Faces today? You like what you see, eh?
Can't go wrong with that, my boy. this like in the old days. Then I'll drop by. No need to be shy. A little space, please. Hey, you. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. you. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners. And it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you won't regret This is the news of the last city standing. 
Today, a chicken and a young ewe went missing from Deirdre Hughes's rooftop farm in South Horseshoe. Several eyewitnesses reported seeing a suspicious woman wearing a red gown and a blue shawl roaming the farm at the hour of the presumed death. Aiden, this is Sophie. Let's talk now.
You find my secret entrance. You call that a secret? It was supposed to be. You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is. Oh. He told me to say sayonara. That help? Okay. Shit. 
You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. I bet. See that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job, I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> oh, no wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here. Take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. What happened to your leg? Got jumped by bandits as I approached the site. Barely managed to get away. If you don't do this, Dodger will kill me. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. You should head there now. Most of the infected will have cleared out to go hunt. Well, thanks for the tip. Can you stop staring like that? I know what I look like. Holding up. I'll be fine. How about you? Who are you? Uh, you guys need help? We'll be fine. Thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey. 
Hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So, what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then, part of a wall collapsed on Jonas on our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah, I gotta make good on a promise. Here, if you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. <sighs> not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Can you hear those noises downstairs? That wailing? Yeah. Like peacocks. They don't attack on their own, but they've got their infected running. You think it's all fair? Thank <laughs> you. 